All right, the rocket is ready for prep for painting, which means that everything's put together. I've gone ahead and pulled my electronics out of the eBay. Um, I do have the eBay tube right there. Um, and I'm going to start pulling some things off to get it ready for paint. So we're going to take off these uh, rail buttons. That way we don't have to paint them or we don't have to mask around it. Take this apart. And I'll take this one off. Front, I still have my shear pins in, so I'm going to pull those out. Um, I'm going to put some tape on the inside of that hole just so that the paint doesn't uh, go through it when I'm going to paint. Um, on the back of the rocket we will have to put tape over this. Remember we left off the engine retainer which is over here and that will be put on the rocket later. It just fell off the table. <laughs> okay so that's going to be on the rocket later. Uh, so I'm just going to put a layer of tape around there and then cover up the hole so that um, none of the no paint goes inside. Now the nose cone has this seam on it and that needs to be uh, smoothed out. Uh, the first thing I, I'll do is I'll take a uh, either a razor blade or an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to scrape along it, try to flatten it out. Okay, next I want to sand. Um, and I had some sanding pads. Um, you, can, you can feel it with your hands how smooth it is. Um, so go ahead and sand down that seam. You want it as smooth as possible. If you can feel it with your fingers, the paint is going to show it. So go ahead and just keep feeling it. Kind of caress it. Find that uh, the any high spots and go ahead and sand them down or scrape them down. Before I go ahead and paint, I want to wet sand the entire surface. That's going to scuff it up a little bit. Again, give the paint something to grab. Um, because it's fiberglass and it's so smooth already, there's not a lot of sanding that you do have to do. So. Um, I have some 400 grit sandpaper and just some water here. I'll have lots of paper towels around. Go ahead and sand the entire surface of the rocket. All the areas, again, get them nice and smooth. If you can feel it with your fingers, it's going to show up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then uh, we'll go ahead and start getting it ready for painting. I'm now ready to paint the rocket and I've done a little bit more uh, masking. Um, I've gone ahead and put a little bit of tape over the rail button posts and I've also put tape on the inside 
of the uh, plastic rivet holes so that uh, paint won't go on the inside of the rocket. It, do it doesn't really matter, but I just want to keep things clean as possible. Now this is a big rocket and it's hard to handle. Um, I don't have a good solution for you. Uh, I don't have any kind of rotisserie. Um, now I'm going to paint primer first um, and you can use rattle cans and that's fine. Um, I'm going to use a spray gun myself because it's a big rocket. Um, and I don't have a good brand of paint for you that I recommend for painting. You're going to have to do some experimenting, find out what works best for you. So I'm all set. I'm going to go ahead and put on my respirator, get my paint ready, and then I'm going to go ahead and start painting this thing. The rocket is now painted with the uh, primer, and this is a sandable primer, so we're going to sand it next. And since it's um, fiberglass, it's pretty smooth already, so it's not going to take much. So I've got uh, 400 grit sandpaper and some water and lots of paper towels, and we're going to start sanding it. And I'm going to take it apart to make it a little easier so you can do sections at a, one at a time. Um, And the, the only part that you might want to worry about is your fillets. Um, if you look at the edges and if they have like a little, little shelf on them, um, you could try sanding them out, but it might take multiple coats of sandpaper or uh, a primer to fill them. Uh, but they will fill because they should be pretty good at this point anyway. So go ahead and sand the whole thing down uh, so that we're ready to paint. And again, if it, it might need multiple coats of primer, so don't get too concerned if it's, it's not pretty at this point. Just go ahead, sand, prime, and then sand again. Mm -hmm. 